Hello guys, what is up? It is iPod Touch Bob, and today I'm going to be coming back to you guys with another review, and this is going to be a review of the Phoenix, which is a Bluetooth wireless speaker from Beacon Audio. Um, it is actually like a portable speaker, but it has the line-in and Bluetooth capabilities. It comes in three colors, black, blue, and red, and you can find it on their website for $99.95. So if you want to check it out, it's beaconaudio.com. Link will be in the description below, so you can check out this product as well as their other products. Um, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video, and I'll tell you if this product is worth your money. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what comes in the packaging when you purchase the Beacon Audio Bluetooth speaker. All right, so you're going to get the speaker itself right here, as you can see. We're going to take a closer look at this in a second, but it looks pretty snazzy. Let me just move that off to the side. Next up, you're going to get a USB to mini USB cable. You can see right here. This is to charge the device. It does have a battery on the inside, so you will need this cable to charge it. Um, you're just going to end up plugging it up to like your computer or like to a wall outlet that you get with the iPhone. You'll be able to charge it with this cable. Next up, you're going to get a male-to-male -male cable. They did a nice little color scheme with this. I really like how this cable looks. Um, but it's a male-to-male -male cable in case your device doesn't have Bluetooth. So let's say you're just using a standard MP3 player. You'll be able to use this audio cable right here to go ahead and hook your MP3 player up to the Beacon Audio Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I do want to mention this is tangle-free um, due to the fact that the wire, as you can see right here, is very thin. Um, it's sort of like the Beats by Dre kind of uh, style of... Um, wire i've seen these on a few different headphones but this is a very cool wire no tangle so you won't have to worry about it getting all like tangled up like apple earphones or anything like that um it's also got a nice color scheme i really like the wire it goes well with the speaker uh finally you're going to get your literature as you can see right here this is just like a little user's manual if we open this up it'll just have some troubleshooting information probably can't see it because the light but yeah it's got troubleshooting information and then right here is our quick start guide and actually shows us how to hook up the speaker, how to pair it with our devices and just how to basically use it in general. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the speaker itself. You can see that we have a nice black matte finish throughout the whole speaker. We have the nice Beacon Audio logo right there. It looks pretty cool, especially with the black on the blue. I like that color, it looks nice. Um, but if you spin the device around, you can see that we have a black matte finish throughout the whole device. It's gonna be fingerprint resistant except for on the top. Um, but on either side, you're going to get your grills for your drivers. This is where the audio is actually going to come from on either side. This is where your speaker drivers are going to be. But if we take a look up top, this is where all the buttons are. You can see that we have the Beacon Audio um, name right there. And then we have our forward, backward, plus our volume up. And we have our back and our volume down. And then we have our power and our play and pause button. Now, if we flip to the very back, you can see that we have a few things right here. We have our audio cable in, so this is just the audio cable or line in input for where you'd go ahead and plug like your MP3 player or something that doesn't have Bluetooth compatibility. You plug that in right there. And then right here, we're going to get our um, input for our charging cable, the mini USB cable. This is just so that you'll be able to charge your device no problem, just plug it in right there and the battery will start charging. Now, if we flip to the bottom, you can see that on the very bottom we have some nice rubber feet. This is so that when you're um, putting it on a table or something like that, it won't get messed up. So it's nice to have these rubber feet just because it won't slide or scratch your table. Um, but yeah, when you turn the speaker on, let me just go ahead and turn it on, you'll hear a noise. You can see that is just like the startup noise right there. And when you connect something to the speaker, it will actually also make a noise just to let you know that it's connected. And also this, the uh, started original noise will just uh, make the noise so that you will know that it's actually on. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs of this device that you might wanna know. Um, you will be able to charge this for about two hours, but then you're gonna, you're gonna be able to get eight hours of listening time out of this speaker. So if you're on the go, you're not gonna have any problem taking this with you. It has a long battery life. So anywhere you go, you'll be able to listen to your music, no problem. As long as you charge it up before, it takes about two hours, but you're gonna get eight hours of battery life out of it. So that's pretty nice. Now, like I mentioned, the grills house the drivers on either side, and you're gonna get a titanium driver, or tit the titanium core driver on the inside of each of these. So one on here, one on here. This does actually have passive radiators, so you're gonna get some decent bass out of this speaker. Um, it's not gonna be the best bass of all time, but portable speaker wise, this is probably on the higher end. Bass wise, it sounds really nice. You're gonna get good lows and good mids. Um, so any genre of music that you listen to, you're, you're gonna be able to get good audio quality. So anything that you wanna listen to, you'll be able to use the speaker for that. Um, but I can tell you from my experience, I've been listening to like dubstep, um, stuff like that. Good bass, so don't worry about it. It's a nice speaker. I would definitely say that it has good audio quality. Um, other than that, it has a lithium ion battery, like I said, so charging is not a big deal. Eight hour battery life, titanium core drivers on the 
other side. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it also has Bluetooth, like I said. So that is a nice feature. It works with pretty much all Bluetooth compatible devices and the line in is just kind of an extra bonus in case your device doesn't have Bluetooth. So this speaker has some nice specs and I'll give you an audio quality test later on in the video and let you decide for yourself what the audio quality sounds like. All right, so let me show you how to actually pair your device with the Beacon Audio Bluetooth speaker. It's really easy. The first time you do it, you're gonna have to hold it extra long. So you're gonna have to hold the power button for five seconds and then keep holding it until the blue lights on the very top start flashing repeatedly. That'll just uh, symbolize that it's in pairing mode. Um, that'll only happen when you first turn it on once, like after you've already connected, which I have. After you do that, all you're gonna have to do is turn on the speaker. So let me go ahead and turn it on. You can hear that noise, that just symbolizes that it's on. And then you're gonna go onto your phone or whatever you're using, turn your Bluetooth on. So I'm in my menus and I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth on right here. And then you can see that the beacon audio is right here. I'm just gonna click on that. And then it now says connected and it made a little quick beep. That just symbolizes that it's now connected and you will be able to play music directly from your iPhone to the Beacon Audio speakers. So that's very cool. It's super easy to connect. So you're, you shouldn't have any difficulty connecting this um, with your iPhone or your iPod or any other Bluetooth compatible speaker. All right guys, so in conclusion, I would definitely say that this speaker is worth your money. It's a really nice Bluetooth speaker. It provides great audio quality. It's portable, it's Bluetooth. So you shouldn't have any issues, like any problems with this speaker because it's very nice, it's very high quality. It's well made, it provides good sound quality overall. I can tell you from my experiences listening to different genres of music that this will provide all the good audio quality you need for any type of genre of music. So I definitely recommend this uh, speaker for anybody who's in the market for a portable speaker. Um, it's got line in, like I said, so you'll be able to use it with any device that you need to and Bluetooth is just a plus. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys. If you wanna check it out, it's on their website. Um, just check the link in the description below. You can visit their website and they also sell other products, so check those out as well. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out their website. Make sure to click the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment about the product or about the video. Um, and also subscribe if you're new to my videos to be updated whenever I upload new reviews, um, unboxings, and anything tech related. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. See ya.